Everything This thing hard. Y'all just What you smoking on? Oh, that damn shit. Talk about New York, all that. We're gonna talk about a little stuff. Everything is squishy like the song say. I'm gonna take my time and go the long way. He said, nigga, mad he got a long face. I remember Tony around here chasing Tim. You don't want to see him. Shotty pull up on you, he gonna shoot a film. Look how we win in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I swear these niggas mad because we win in. Run Tavius. Run Tavius. That stuff got you coughing on it. Swa, swa, swa. What's going on, y'all? This your boy Drizzle Dollar, a.k.a. Man Man. Y'all already know how we rock. I'm talking about like two cutoffs stocking. This Atlanta Avenue Live. I got my boy Nard the God. You know what he doing, a.k.a. Cab Bad Nard. What's up, Nard? What's happening? Oh, no, what's up, y'all? What's up to the people? Oh, what man. Up? Oh, man. That boy Nard the God. Yeah. They always ask about Nard the God. They know Nard the God go hard. Yeah. If they don't say nothing now, they're going to say Nard go hard. Right, right. Yeah. Swell. Yeah, they do say that. Man, let me ask you something, man. What, where you get your style from? What inspired your style and your delivery? Man, it got a lot to do with a lot of people. I listen to a lot, man. I like, you know, I like the the tilt, the Jeezy, the mm -hmm. bows. And I also like the dip set. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like a few other artists. I like Snoop. You know, everybody inspired me. Mouth of P. You know, I just took all that and like gumbo and just mixed it up, you know? No, that hard. And by me knowing you, I can really vouch for that because, you know, they just had the, 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 the now songs. Uh -huh. We had to go back to the the old song from even Amico Boy, Track Shack. Oh, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. When Track Shack was like, oh, God, hard. <laughs> you know? Them yeah, days, you know, so yeah. see, see, he was doing that. Yeah, he was real life. He was, he was. I, I can remember that. You know, if see, if he wasn't the first to say that, that nigga know it hard. Uh -huh. Yeah, for real. So, uh, man, let the people know, man. Where you, what, where you from? What side of town? You know, in Atlanta, whatever. Let them know how they can know know it if they want to know anything about know it. Uh, you want to know know it, man? Know it come from. You know, from the other side of town, long way from home, you know what I'm saying? From the east side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I would grow up on the east side, experience certain things over there, I've seen the game, but I never really just dabbled in it like that. I seen it and tried it. But you know, as time went on, in and out of juvenile and moving here to there, you know, I bumped into my home, but you know, one day, you know, the state looking for it. I'm committed to the state. They're looking for it. I tell you, bro, man, take me to the West The side. state? When you say the state, what you mean the state? I'm committed to the state of juvenile. Okay, okay, I'm bet. to the state of the juvenile. So, okay, you know, cool. I had to get away from over there because they was always, felt like they was always on my back. So I told my partner one day, T, man, take me to the West Side. You so know? not to cut you out, you went on the run. I was on the run. I went on the run. <laughs> what age they were? Probably like 13, 14. So you jumped out the point when then? No, I went on the run probably like 14, 15. I jumped off probably. Jumped off probably sold my first sack probably like 14, 13. Yeah. So you really you really was a trapper? I really was a trapper. Trying to be then, trying to be able, trying to see. Really I was just trying to get some money, get a pair of shoes back then. 
Yeah. Cause you know it was messed up. Just getting a pair of shoes. I was young. I wasn't talking about that running no money up. What changed? What changed when I went to the West Side? Met some old niggas and it was a whole different ball game on the on the Aspen. Now let, let's elaborate on how did how you get the Aspen. When you say Ashby, you talking about the West Side? West Side Zone 1, Ashby. How you get the Ashby from the East Side? How that work? My homeboy T, I, I used to, I used to uh, me and T, little brother, Mike, we went to school together. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I was in the great height than him, but we wrote the same school, but. Right. But I used to be over at house, and I used to see T coming over there all the time, bro. I used to you not doing the West Side. I used to see T coming up, skinning everybody down. What you mean? What you mean? Yeah. You know what I mean, take care of the whole house. One day I was on the run, I was like, man, I can't stay here. So I had to go over to the west side. So I told bro, I said, man, bro, man, take me to the west side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He took me over there. Everything got history. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been back to the east side since. You ain't never looked back. I ain't looked back. The west side was totally, totally different. What's the difference? My nigga was moving different. From where we were coming from, where I was coming from, nigga was in the house, in the spot apartment. You know, we had and that's spot. the east side. The east side, we had a little spot where you could stand out and trap, but they should had shut that down. You know, you had to have a spot to trap out there, really. But when you got to that west side, my nigga just out. What you was, what you said was more like a zoo. Boy, Jurassic the west Park. side, Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. I'm talking okay. about all day, four in the morning. Oh, I'm talking about the kids used to walk by and say, "Bro, you still out here?" You know what I'm saying? So that was new to you? That was, man, that was that, new. That was man, new? That was new, man. That was all new? Okay. That was new, man. That was real new. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the lifestyle, well, not the not the traffic shit, but the lifestyle, how y'all was, how y'all was living over there. But that was tough. Man, we ain't never had no nigga come and get the whole room and house and just, it's our shit. Y'all, what about, y'all got room and houses on the east side? Sir, sir, spot got it, but now they ain't coming like the west side. You know, you go on okay. the street on the west side, it's a room house, room house, spot, spot, you know what I'm saying? On the east side, you got apartment, neighborhood, hotel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Every night you might have a nigga with a spot, spot, but they don't last long. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. So what, 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 what enticed you to stay on the west side? That I know you had to stay over there. What, you know? Stay, I had to stay over there. I just stayed up cause I knew they 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 ever come over here. I, I was I I I, I kind of figured I was safe over there when I went over there cause I, I, I was coming from the east side to the west side. But them motherfuckers followed me all the way over there. Some kind of when they popped up on me and, and were like, "Hey, come here." And I, I looked at my partner, little D. I was like, "Little D, boy, that, boy, that apprehension." Mm -hmm. Little D was like, "Man, hey, bro, he ain't coming over there. Go on the tail out of here." My folks yeah. out of there. I ain't seen them before. Like, no that crazy. No more. They tear it out of there. They tore it up out of there, bro. The last apprehension. Time. Apprehension. Yo. Man. Yo. So explain it to me. What 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 can you say about the west side that you couldn't do really do on the east side that was just sticking out like man, this different. Oh, you couldn't be on that block out there all day. Bamming that music, riding up and down the street, just, hey boy, I got you know what I mean? You can't do that on the east side. You can't do that on the east side. Yeah, the motherfucker was kind of black cat. You couldn't hang at the store. You couldn't hang at it. Every now and then you could, but not so not like not not the west side, bro. Yeah. The side with just the people in the store know you just welcome me and you just in there. On the east side, motherfucker, uh uh. They kind of. So I know that you said you were running from apprehension. What that child was? I mean what uh, I had an old aggravated assault. As a juvenile. As a juvenile. And that by, by me being at my first charge. They, they they graded me on that and gave me like points on that shit. I never knew that till I got the got the uh, to the hearing. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah, I, pulled, yeah. I was like, now I pulled them on probation for that. Like, now nah, they chose everybody saw. So that's like a dead <laughs> sin to them. So that they gave me nine points. Aggravated Yeah, bro. What age? I was like 13, mm. 12. Yeah, 13, 12. And, and junior high school, high school. Nigga had done jumped on me. Some people had done jumped on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I went back and got that and came back with that. And first it was all good. They jumped on me, bust my nose up, my face bloody leaking. They got they you right. good. Yeah, they got me good. People laugh. Oh no, they got you. I'm talking about they set me up too. The nobody what in happened? school, but we 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 the, we get out of school out of Tower High School. That's why I'm going to Tower High School. So uh the whole neighborhood like shit, we ain't round the boat today. So I'm like, cool, we just chilling. I just now moved to the neighborhood from 
From, from coming from Matt Mill High School. From oh, Show. you new to the hood. I'm new to the hood. I'm Understandable. Look, I'm, I'm Understandable. I'm staying, I'm staying Glenwood. Okay, bet. You know what I mean? So, I don't go. I, I've been moving all my life, but I ain't never went through no problem with, bro, where you from? That type of stuff. You, so, you really were free pick. I was free pick. You know what I'm saying? They didn't know me. They didn't know me. They, you just moved to the hood. Moved you to free the hood. Last day of school. So it gotcha. was like, it was like I, I, I been to the school probably about a few days, probably a couple of weeks. I was new. So everybody wanted to know who I was. But by the time we walked back from school, I just feel the tension. Everybody showing up. We get to the neighborhood. I just hear one of my homeboys who I thought I knew say, hey, bro, so I don't want to fight you. So I'm like, what? Who wanna fight him, bro? Oh, bro, right there. So when I say when he say bro, right there, he lock. We lock eyes, and he, he got an older brother. They we we all we all all three of us lock eyes. So I'm like for real, bro. I'm like why? I'm, so I'm like, damn, why they wanna fight me, bro? Oh no, like I ain't never went through this. Why they wanna fight me? Like, stand your ground. So I'm like, and again, I'm like, damn, bro. You already knew they wanna fight me. You ain't eat, bro. So when that happened, I just was like. Bro, who want to fight? And when he said, I want to fight, I just went down. But they were jumping on They beat me good. Yeah. Nose would bleed. I seen, they, I seen all them niggas hit me. All them niggas would hit me. Laughing. Ooh, it was funny. All that. I went back to the house. I came back with, with, with a gun, but it was a BB gun. Oh, my God. It was a BB gun. That was 13. the whole thing that had me miss. On, that would have me miss. I ain't understanding that at that time. They told me what everybody saw this weapon. I'm telling the police, a BB gun. Son. 13 years old. 13. Old. I come back with it, and I, oh, no, you ain't gonna do nothing. Well, shoot that nigga, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I get the hint of thing, the thing bust out the one or whatever. 12 coming, so patrolling the hood. They ain't even on call. So when he coming through the neighborhood, the whole neighborhood turned on me. Hey, he was shooting. He was shooting at them. Hell, he was right here. School people, everybody, teachers. I'm talking about neighbors, everybody. So I, I went to juvenile for about, like, 90 days. Yeah. Yeah, I had to miss school. So the whole, by the time I get out, the whole neighborhood and the school know about this shit. What that do to a young 13 y'all, man? I ain't gonna lie, my first time in juvenile, man. Boy, it was terrifying, boy. I went through there probably like 10, 11 o'clock that night. Man, you hear niggas screaming through the door, hey! <laughs> but did you ever return? Man, I went back and forth, man. Went to, I went to Even though I was terrified the first time. Terrified, man. Okay, it was hard for me to keep up trying to do school. Then got, I had ankle monitor trying to come home and do right and do this. Then my mom and my ill. Then we stand with my relative. I had to deal with all that. You know what I'm saying? So That's yeah. another So How your, how your growing up was? My growing up was, it was, I thought my growing up was rough because... You know, I, as me growing up as a kid, being the older, every time I wanted something or when my birthday came around, I wanted to pass you. I always was told no. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a child, you keep hearing that word, no, no, no. But I ain't never had a birthday party. Like, no. For real, like, as a kid, seeing my going to other kids, my friend and birthday party, and I'm like, well, I ain't never had, I ain't never had experience that. Let me ask you that, though. Was it because people really didn't believe in that? Mama them didn't like believe in that. People in it was just because mom was trying to make ends meet. She was working two jobs. But at the time as a child, you don't see that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I got older, I seen it. I told my mama too, though. I told her, I said, when I got older, I see what it was. You had to do what you had to do. But as a child, you don't see that. You wonder why, hey, my mama always telling me no, no, no. But she had to do what she had to do. People don't understand when you got to do what you got to do to do what you want to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? She had to sacrifice. We had to sacrifice water. We had to just bail water for a minute. Mm -hmm. Kids don't understand that. We just know about, I want it now and this, that, this, that, and the third. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, mama tried to raise me, right? But I was going the other direction because I wanted something for myself. I had, I had to wear a pro wing to the school. You know what I'm saying? All, all, all the way up to uh, seventh grade, wearing pro wing. People joining me. I'm joining myself so I want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got, yeah, I got on the pro wing. Ooh, ooh, ooh laugh at it. They try to throw them off and stuff, cause I ain't really care, but I did though, cause everybody else had them nice stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's all the way through seventh grade. When I got eighth grade, it changed. It changed. It changed. That when I started seeing, seeing the, seeing the streets. You went to the street. I went to the street. So you was able. To, I, I I heard you mention earlier. Mm -hmm. You just wanted to pass shoes. I just wanted to pass shoes. At that at that age right there, I just wanted to pass shoes and stay fresh. And I believe you too. To just hear your story. Mm -hmm. Hearing that story about the shoe, the pro wings, and, and I ain't never heard that story from you. Yeah, yeah. But hearing that story about the pro wings, and then just remembering what you said about you just you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah, you you know, just I really know. wanted to pass shoes. Yeah. And then you just showed me how to 
Or this, this, this is what they say. You chop it up and do it. Ooh, you get the money. Man, everybody tell me, go, man, you do this, put this up and go. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. So my mentality was just sell it and just give me some shoes. I ain't care about re up or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? So most of the time, I was shout on re up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was, yeah, when I started out with that, my first thing I started out with was, was the marijuana. Mm. And I tried to go to the, to, the, to the razor blade. The razor blade didn't work out for me. Not on, on the east side. side. Not on the east side. Okay. Not on that east side. No. Man, let me, let me, let me, this very important, man. Mm -hmm. Let me get you to tell that young 13 year old who was annoyed, who, who might be annoyed, you know, wearing pro wings and hand me down clothes and ain't never had a birthday party, dog. Right, right. Man, how, what you tell them to do? I mean, how they take that? How they deal with that? Man, I, I, I couldn't even really. It's really not. It's really not nothing to tell a thirteen-year-old how not to deal because it's not a. It's not a. It's not written down like a rule or something to tell me. Because as a thirteen-year-old, you don't understand the process of taking care of someone and the sacrifice you have to put in and taking care of a child or another human being. A kid don't see that. Mm -hmm. You know, so a kid see mama go to work, she pull to pay the rent, get money, and woo 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 woo. Or mom and daddy, whoever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? A child can't. Their brain can't. Manifest that unless they smart enough to know that unless they parent or put them up on game You know what I mean? But a 13 year old wearing pro wings ain't never had no birthday They take a toll on them, especially when you got people around you That's doing that and then you know you got Street like come on, I had to be in the house, my partner them still outside Oh, still playing ball, right mm -hmm. now, mama We stay right here in the front Yeah, that's what it used to be, we stay right here in the front Mama, <coughs> see I'm like, I'm all right, I'm all right. Mom, right boy, in here in him. Did that help you though? You think that helped you? Yeah, because you be, you, it, 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 teach, it, it, it teach you about being responsible. You got to know when to boy, get your butt on. And what was that discipline? That was she, that discipline. It was more like discipline. That was that discipline. I didn't know it at the time. Nigga was just young, just wanted to be outside. You know. So you had a script, mama. Your mama pretty she, much she script. She was, she was, she was, she was script. She was on it, but she wasn't script. She was, she was, she, she just, <clears throat> she wasn't script like. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she was mad at me or beating on somebody. She was just screwed up far as, like, you know, she ain't play that. You know, I work, come home. You know, parent crowd the street. They, they don't go outside because they seeing you. They didn't tell them, but we get our ass whooped about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was real moments do back then. But I see now, you know what I'm saying? The mamas like that raised you right because you, you learn responsibility. Like, you know how to take care of things. Right. You know what I mean? You can have morals and stamina. You know what I mean? That's what they really be teaching you. You just don't know it. You think that's where your values came from? Oh, yeah, from that mom. And from me not being around my dad. Yeah. What the streets do for you, though? No, I, I know you've been in the streets a long time. Streets, streets, done, streets done did some. Street, I took the good and the bad with the streets. Yeah. I don't regret nothing about the streets. It's only, it's only a couple, it's only two or three things I regret about the streets. Is that. I, I didn't have nobody to tell me what to do, as far as like guiding me with that money, mm -hmm. and, and, and losing my losing my partners and closest friends. Cause it, after after a while, when you lose people who you be around, the, the game start to look like it ain't fun no more. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. just, it, but that's the part of the game though. Everybody can't go that place. Some people gotta fall off. Some people gotta be bombed. Some people gotta go up. Some people gotta go down. Everybody can't go there. You want everybody to go. To go on one lead, but that's not the case. Mm -hmm. It's just not. It's just not the case. Something just is. It is what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know you said something about the West Side. Yeah. Pinpoint where you was on the West Side. Bro, I was all up, man. Ashby, bro. All up. Mountain State, all up. Ashby from from Bankhead to Norfolk. Uh, hold up, you said, hold up, not to cut you off, you said Ashby. Ashby, Ashby Trains, what the new name for Ashby? Oh, Joseph E. Lara. Okay, bet, gotcha. Joseph E. Lara. All right. right now, Joseph E. Lara Boulevard. That script go a long way. Here. Go a long way. That thing still hitting, still bang. And you said you was on Ashby. Ashby, Mason Turner, Martin Luther King, all the way up there, uh, Belkwood Street, at the store, Parson Street. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where else I done stayed up through though? North Fault Bankhead. Uh, had a spot right behind the Amacon Ash. Had a spot on the dead end of Magnolia. You been all the way around up, man. Oh, 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 Ashby, though. All up through there, though. So let me ask you this. So the West Side welcome people in like that? They, with, with a welcome hand? 
Cause you sound like you were really welcome. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The same thing I went through with in that neighborhood, being going to another different neighborhood, I had to go through that with the west side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? People welcome me in though, but it's just like certain place you gotta go, people gotta know gotta test you like to know if you you ain't no sucker or not. You gotta be a prey or a predator. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, and, and stuff happened, you know, I had to show I want no pray. I want no pray. You know I, what I'm saying? No, I feel you. But you know, you know what I'm saying? No, I feel you. Know, Coming to a whole nother yeah, block. Come yeah. to a whole nother block. You got to go through this initiation. That's what right. they really call initiation. You got to go through that. You just can't be in on this block that year, bro. I'm just over here. And we don't know if you a rat. You, 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 you a elf you nigga or, or what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't know what you would do. So you gotta go through them, them you got kind to. of thing like that. You know what I'm saying? So would you say that the West Side made you a man? Well, you came you came to the West Side as a man. West Side made me uh West Side West Side West Side raised me. The West Side, West Side raised me and showed me a lot of stuff. Yeah. From the West Side and coming out of prison. That 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 birthed a new man, like far as like dealing with people. Cause when I was in prison in the open dorm, you you had to be in a dorm with ninety nine with a hundred people, and you and you the you the hundred one. So you had to deal with ninety nine personality. So I can see all the game that come. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I have to deal with people on store. I put my store up. People walking by. No, what, what you doing? They ain't looking at me. They looking at my ball. I had, my, get out my ball, bro. So you been you know to I mean? prison. Yeah, I been to prison, man. 40 months. Man, you had a hell of a life. Man, I was out there. So we go from 13, juvenile. Juvenile. The state, right? Mm-hmm. And then following from that, you said back and forth. Back and forth. And then you find yourself in prison at what age? I go to prison like 20, 21, 25. Mm. 25. 41 months. Uh, yeah, 40 months. Not 40 months. 40 months. They gave me, uh, gave me uh, 20 to 10. 20 to 10. My lawyer said, you're going to do, do 40 months. It's your first time. Man, if you want to elaborate on camera, I don't know if you want to elaborate, but I'm going to ask you anyway, man. For what? I, I, I had, uh, I had, uh, I had a call of trafficking over there for no man. Trafficking? Yeah. When you say trafficking, you mean in what? Weed, cocaine, cocaine heroin? Cocaine and crack. I had, I, had a, I, had, I had crack and cocaine. So you really talking about you 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 in your routes, that stuff you talking about real. Oh that stuff real, man, cause I went through it. I can't talk about that. If I didn't see it or go through it or witness it or I can't I can't talk about it like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't elaborate. But as far as like with my rhymes when I be coming from the bars, that's where it come from. Cause I was in in that time, that space and still going through it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still out here. No, nah, this deep right here, these are the stories I'm trying to dig. Yeah. You feel me? Real street people, you know, really been out there in them streets, man. Mm -hmm. Got a street. testimony, you know right. what I mean? In and Get, out of right street. That right street, psh. For the people yeah. don't know, you said right street, people don't know what you're talking about. Man, elaborate on, what is right street? Man, that's, uh, man, right street like the prison before you get to prison. Oh my God. What kind of, what kind of jail it's is that? Get, get, hey, you, if you go into the, if you go into the fourth floor on up, and them 500, if you go to, you can go on the 500, 400, and them 300 down. But prepared to be prepared. Know somebody Man. that know somebody that know somebody. Who could be like, oh, I know, okay, bro. Because to me, you walk through that door, everybody looking at you. But why you said prison before prison, though? Man, because they go down in there, bro. Prison before prison? Before prison. If you ain't, if you ain't, if you want, if you ain't move, if you don't know nobody out here in the streets and, and can't, and can't, and can't nobody vouch for you, but you fooling them. And what we would say that there, the county? The county. That's a county jail out county. in Atlanta. The county out of Atlanta. God don't do nothing about it, man. I've seen everything. They get their stuff took, shoe. Man, I seen a nigga now with 30 pair of shoes. You can eat, it's one. You you ain't got nothing but two pair of feet, bro. You feel me? Take mm -hmm. them. Bro, what size shoe them is? Besides them slide. Yeah, I'll be sad them slide, bro. Man, I'm glad I'm glad we on this subject though, because people need yeah. to hear this coming to yeah. Atlanta. Nah, for real. They don't know the most out of town is coming. Most of them get their head busted. They, they, head they trying to they trying to dive up under the red zone though. Man, that's where they put you at too in that red and they hit the button for you. Get them up out of here. 
Yeah. The kids you know. need to hear that too. The water boys, all them need to hear yeah. that too because I'm telling you, man, this yeah. what he's saying for real, and it got worse now. It's hard it to monitor these people. It's so it many of them and these kids, man, they all in gangs, and it's so hard to separate them. The jail only so big, family. So big. Man, that's crazy we talking about this. It, it just really... Stuff be meant, bro. We ain't know what we were gonna be talking about. We right. ain't planned it. We ain't got no chart, but you know, like right. these just facts. You know what I mean? <coughs> but I wanted the people to know about Nord. Right. Nord, <coughs> not Nord the God the rapper. Yeah. Nord the trapper. Yeah, Nord the trapper. That's what I wanted the people to know because a lot of times people they only know the 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 rapper. Uh huh. You don't even know the trapper. You don't even know the person. Know the Shout person. a person. So, uh -huh. y'all want to elaborate on the person? Let them people know who the person was. Right. Separate that from right. the Nord the God, and then now we can come back into the Nord the God right, right. and the rap and all that. Right. You know, because right. like I don't, I don't want to look at this as an interview. Mm -hmm. This like me and my partner chopping it up. Yeah, we smoking, you know. Like a slick documentary. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. even a documentary. Yeah. Like real life. This what we do anyway. It just so happened we got a camera in our face. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, we're going to take a break. We'll be back. Uh, this your boy, Drizzle Dollar, a.k.a. Man Man. My special guest right here, you already know, Mr. Nard, a.k.a. Nard the God, better known as Cash Bad Nard, Swa. Swa, Swa, Swa. We back, guys. Y'all already know, man. Uh, Atlanta Avenue Live. Let's get it, man. So, Nord, I'm going to take off the Nord. Let's go with Nord to God. We back to Nord to God. I was talking to Nord. Uh, now I'm talking to Nord to God, the rapper. Man, your delivery, bro. Right. I don't want to talk about your delivery. Right. It's something, it's something crazy. I think they slipping on it. They catching on it, though. But, yeah, they catching on it. Slowly for shoulder. Slowly for shoulder, yeah, yeah. Uh, they catching on. They catching you feel on it? it. Yeah, you feel, feel it. it? Yeah, they tell me. They tell me because, yeah, I had somebody tell me. I don't know what it is, man. I can't pimp her, but when you you say one body, you say something else. Uh huh. He said I don't know what it is. He said, but I'm, it's something I gotta call him. He come put his finger on it, but he know. You got a unique style, man. You got a very unique style, and your style just it carry it carry. It just okay. carry on. Okay, yeah. You know, it just go on. The ball just go on. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. I just got to know. You don't know? It be just rap. Just how you it just come rap. Out. Just come out. Come out. You don't be, when, sometimes you, after you get through with a song, you don't be like, I kept that to yourself. I just be like, you don't be satisfied? Like, I be, I be really criticizing myself. I be like, man. I be, you know how sometimes I be here, man, that's, that sound low, man. What that sound like, uh? Mm -hmm. Man, nah, play them do that old, something like that, you know what I'm saying? But other people like, oh, that's it, you know what I mean? But I don't really be liking other people just be like, oh, that's it, bro. Man, I'll tell you what it is. So you don't think you reach your peak? Nah, bro. You ain't at your peak? Nah, I ain't at my peak, man. I ain't really, <coughs> excuse me, I ain't at my peak. I ain't really experienced a whole lot yet. I'm still, still learning. Right. Still learning, still getting taught. I'm still, I'm still a student. Okay. You know yeah. yeah. So you got a lot more growing got to do. A lot more growing. Uh -huh. You got some fans, man. You got some fans, man. So, uh, what you got coming? I got uh, I got I got two videos I'm about to draw. I'm just waiting on this video guy to come in town and see if we got the program. You know? Okay. I got two videos up in the draw, and uh. Really, I'm just really, I'm, I'm thinking I'm just really about to be focused just on music videos and, and singles. Mm -hmm. And just and just distribute it, distribute it independently and push on from there. You know what I'm saying? Amongst other things, still do my acting thing, you know, get my interviews in, my podcast, yeah. thing going on. But yeah, top of the, this quarter right here, on the top of the quarter. Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's crunch time. And I'm going to shoot these two videos. Good look I got to put on now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do a look I gotta put on now. I see you been dropping some visuals, man, that high learner. You been oh, yeah. dropping them things yeah, back to back. Yeah, that high learner, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that high learner good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that high learner. I like that high learner though. Got to eat different food and experience with what other people got to offer, you know, so they from different places too. <coughs> Can you say you learned something? 
uh, <laughs> during that high learning uh, season. <clears throat> yeah, I, le- I learned something on that high learning. Yeah. Everybody can't cook. Everybody can't cook. Everybody can't cook. Just because you can put food together and, and present it, can, and it can look good. And it can look good, but it can't. It's just like it's just like the marijuana. You can have some look so good, but it's yeah. all like nine. You know, but some of the people who who I went to, nine times ten, they were they were good. Okay. You know what I'm saying they was good. It was pretty good. It was a good experience though. Different cultures. You know what I mean? Experience food on that type of level. Well, uh, how learning was based off of? Uh... Oh, really? Just uh. Uh, uh, rating on the marijuana, knowing what we were smoking, where it come from. Okay. You know, then we get home, you know, you got to eat, you get the money. So we go see what the food, who got who working with the food. <laughs> yeah. Bad. We finna pull up and, okay, let us get dig, dad. You know, some folk men, you might be long, some folk men, you be short. You know what I'm saying? But right. Some folk might not even have all of You know? No, nah, like, I get, get it. One thing. <laughs> Main thing, content, though. Main, the main thing, content. content. Just keep yeah. getting consistent going on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, sativa. Talk about, let's talk about that Sativa. Oh, that Sativa. That first verse on Sativa. Man, uh-huh. that's a hell of a verse. Uh-huh. And it's memorable. It's memorable. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a hell of a verse. Yeah, yeah, every now and then, we you know, try to drop a weed song every now and then. Right. You know, that's something we've we been doing, though. Yeah. Like I say, people just not catching off. We've been doing it. You know what I'm saying? Just not just, it's getting better and better. Did you ever stop? I hey, never stopped. Probably, yeah. probably not slowed up, but I ain't never stopped with the weed song. No. No. No, I'm just talking about period in your career. You been oh, yeah, just going. No, no, no. I ain't just been going hard. I ain't gonna say that, but I ain't stopped. I've been, I've been slow. I've been slow on it. But now that I see and witness what's going on, I'm starting to see numbers on the on the internet, and you know stuff picking up. Just so you learning. New York with that. Let's talk about you that. Know what, I'm saying? what you just did that you ain't never did in your life though. Man, we went to New York. But not only that, what else? Man, I flew for the first time in my life. For the first time in your life. All the way to New. Now, now let me back up. We flew from Atlanta to Washington. But your first time on the plane, what was that experience, man? At first, I thought I was going to be, I was nervous. I thought everybody, everybody like, man, it's Brian. He was like, the hell play me. But when I got on it, you know, it wasn't that bad. It, it ain't bad at all. It ain't that bad. All only thing bad is that little jet plane. Because you feel that. Okay. You feel you feel that ride on the jet plane. But going on that, that big that big spaceship guy, man, you just up in there. If you had a little son of puff on, man, you'll be all right. You know what I mean? Get a little drink, a little shot. You'll nah, that come with private. That come with private. That come with private, though. But yo, though, you be doing that, that first soon. class. You do that first class. You can't smoke on first class. You can't smoke on first class, but you get that you little shot, though. You know what I'm saying? That chill. But, yeah, that thing with that thing with culture, though. There and back. You know, yeah. Folks show plenty love with that rock. Shout out to Rock Chelsea, New York. Big Gila team, man. That boy run. What you had going on in New York, man? Oh, we had, uh... We Elaborate had, uh, on that for us. Well, that was a spooktacular event show. Well, they all, they had all the weed dispensers, which is all kind of crazy weed, bro. Mm-hmm. Not crazy, bro. Why you say crazy? crazy? Man. My folks had kind of, boy, man, they had names, bro. They had, boy, they had so many names. Man, you know how much weed I smoke? Was it different for you? Yeah, way different, though. I ain't, yeah. ain't going to lie, way different, though. Can you do that every day, though? That's something you can find yourself doing every day, just... Going to the dispensary. And, I mean, just having that kind of connect and just being around that kind of oh yeah yeah so crazy. That's, that's something I can do every day, especially especially now that I see what's going on. Right. Especially now that I see what's going on, how to move and see what's what's moving in there and and, and that money be coming in. Oh no, you know what I mean? Oh, it's lovely because it's legal now. It's legal, like it's it's like everybody in there messed up. Man, one dude had a hat on. You know how they had a hat on with the love, the, the felder in there? Man, had a bud in that mug. And he man. did a lot of giveaway. Man, he did a lot of giveaway. Man, tell me, man, my left stuff up. I left so much marijuana. Blunts did big up there, still in the air tray. Mm. Couldn't even smoke it all. That's amazing. Tried to smoke it, still waking up with the blunt in my hand like this. Couldn't even smoke it. That's amazing. Had to get, here you go, bro. Go on and take that with you. We gone. We out of here. Man, you know, uh, like I said, I don't want to treat this like an interview, so, you know, we just chopping it up, man. We had an amazing time, man, and I want to 
Just say, man, thank, thank the people. He just thank also the Spook Tackler, the whole Spook Tackler family, the whole Flower City Gab family, aka FCG. You know, showed out Triple T. Oh you know yeah, I mean? shout out to Yaya. Yaya really you know yeah, yeah, with that five five. Showed out, man. No, nah, it was a great experience, guys. Uh, we went crazy. Uh, shout out to everybody who was there, all the vendors. Um, Sunny Plant, all the vendors. High vibe. I just had on high vibe shirt right, yesterday. Right. I rocked that guy for them. You know, um, uh, rapper first choice. Right. All them guys. You know, they really. They put on. I only really think bad experience I had up there about 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 Rochester. Them 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 eggs when I'm riding Cracker Barrel. Oh no. Time. You know what I'm saying? That's the only bad experience. But that really wasn't a bad experience. Yet. The food wasn't right. No. Uh, they cut the fried steak busted, but it wasn't how I wanted to be for me paying my money. I'm paying my money. I'm saying how I want my eggs. Man, we got to have that food. You know what I'm saying? Then you come back out with the same plate. I'm like, hold on, sir. I just told you don't fold my egg. Scramble, put it on the plate. But you listen up. Can we agree? All these restaurants messing up these they days. Up. They just want to get you to We pay. come back home to some garbage. Man, they want to just get you the fuck up out of them, dude. We come back home to steak. Ain't, ain't cooked all the ain't way. Ain't cooked that pink stuff. Just seen the lady you know, eating so. that pink stuff. Just, ugh. You know. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. This still got to be cooked thoroughly. Don't fat cook the meat. You know what I'm saying? Just make it look hot. I don't want it because it's hot. Cook it. Put a little burn on there. Right. Let me hit that sizzle, that, that iron plate skillet. I don't think they do that no more. Man, they better get with the program, man. It ain't coming out sizzling no man, more. Man, look, man. All the, Everybody who out there cooking, man, get y'all some skillets, bro. That's real cook game. You know what happened, I think? What happened? People don't cook no more and just... The demand on steaks, and when you go to a Longhorn or that fashion, it just you got to get that food out at a, at a good amount of time and cater to the people. Yeah, I'm telling you, and get the business well. side take over. Yeah, when the See, take I remember, well done, they probably come back well done. Yeah, but I remember they can do that. It's hard right. to do that now. It's hard to do that yeah, anyway they, now. They do that grill, that uh, the, the iron skillet. Yeah, and and because that take a minute. Right. You remember they used to take a minute. That, that, that's what, and that's what other people don't want to wait. And that's what they know. Well, they know that y'all don't want to wait. Oh, we're going to fat cook it for them. Well, they got the, up out of here. Now, cook my take that stuff back. They got the, they got the separate boat. You got fat food and you got cooked food. <laughs> Which one you want? You Which want one? cooked food or you want fat food? The cooked food coming fast. The cooked food coming <laughs> fast. <laughs> and sad, too, you know. The cooked food coming <laughs> fast. We just learned that. We just learned that. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, listen, yeah. it's crazy how you could be in that game and do, start doing something, thinking you're doing it just for content, and you really learning for real. Like, okay, Bro, man, this stuff for real. At it, start looking at everybody else. Uh, like, look, okay. Food, They're bending now. It's bending. It's like the Chinese now. Man, ain't about, man, we ain't talking about no feeling. We don't care what you want. It's bending. But it's like the Chinese, you know, they don't do commercials and they ain't got to do it. Man, but folk, it's a business. Folk got the bad wing everywhere. But it's still a business. It's a business with them. Folk it's a business. Well, they ain't trying to make no friends. None of that. Uh, you know what I mean? No convo. Yeah, ain't no convo. It's great business. What you want? Stir fry? Yeah. You know what I mean? Pepper steak? You know yeah, I they mean? treated just like if they was in it's the warehouse. Yeah, if they was a in a warehouse. Straight working that line. Whatever they got to do, you know. Right. Same thing, man. Get it done. Right. Right. Nah, man, for real though, man. That's just what it is, man. Swear. But now we made it back safely, though. That was good for the trip, though, you know. Trying to stay booked like a crook, but you know, I got to keep putting in work. No, you know, got to keep putting in that work. Putting so in that work. Got coming up uh, in this future, man, for a while. Any kind of movies. I heard I'm you talking about a move on your live. Let's speak on your YouTube, too. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back, family. But uh, I want to speak on your YouTube. I see you've been going hard, hard. Okay. Swa, swa, swa. All right. Sell a bone, kind of roll it.
fans. Let's get robbers, different flavors. I got put in the bag. When it comes to smoking good, you gotta make it last. It's a physical smoke so, so. when they step on tag. My hunter bar is burning slow, trying to kill the room. So many buds on the floor. Somebody switch the room. Switch the sweet cigarettes. Okay, come on. You gotta fill them up. I smoke good at everything. Boy, I swear to God. I nigga put a sound in the entourage. Oh. Excel type of nigga, everything large. I hit the blunt a couple times. Now I nigga charge. It jokes up in my entourage. 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 We ain't gonna give y'all too much. You know what I mean? <coughs> Welcome back, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Seven grams and one blunt, huh? Grams. Nah, Damn. shout out to Ken Lock. For real. Mm-hmm. Nah, for real. Hey, guys. Uh, Nord the God still here with us, guys. So I'm gonna ask him a few more questions. And um, we're gonna hit it. You know what I mean? We're gonna hit it like Tank Davis. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother. What you got? What you got for the while as a tape coming up? You got a mid tape, an album? Can we get an album out of Nord to God? A full album, full album with them lyrics? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm talking about just Nord to God, his project, yeah. your project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get that before this year over with, man? The fan hungry for yeah, it. Yeah, I might just, if I do, I'll probably do like a little, little, little. Little EP or song. Yeah. Little EP, little, 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 little. I heard you say you're going to drop a lot of singles, though. A lot of singles, a lot of videos with the singles. That's okay. All I really just focus on singles and videos. Slapping them up. Post them on YouTube. You got a hot record with Hustle Bunny. What that record is, man? Oh, yeah, that a band that uh, produced by uh, Ring Leader Maestro. How that record came about, man? Uh, Maestro really uh, came up with that guy. I really just, he already had the, the, the beat and the platform later, how you want to say it. He just told me. The concept. The concept, just go on there and rap your verb. Then they got a hit. He, he, he made one then. I ain't know it was going to sound like that. I really just went in there and dropped it and left. Okay. Uh, Sax already did her track. Oh, so he put magic together. Yeah, he had did something then. I said, hold on. Maestro. I like, but Maestro got Billy D in this mall. So, uh, that rocker, man, what y'all gonna do with that rocker? Oh, we gonna shoot the video to that. Yeah. Sassy, yeah, we gotta shoot the video to that. That band. Hey, shout out to Hustle Bunny, man. Sassy B. Bunny, man, we gonna shoot that. Yeah, we got to shoot that. I got the rocker with, with that girl. And, and say the name of the rocker again. Abandoned. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all finna get that on Spotify. That thing's stupid. Y'all finna go get that on Spotify. Screen that on Spotify. Hey, you got another rocker that I like, too, called... Uh, Basket Robin. Oh, that 30 cent flavor. 30 cent flavor. That's what it is. That, what that it thing is. banging. That thing banging. Is you gonna, we gonna get a second verse to that? Or it just, it, oh, that, that's what it is. That's what it is right there? That's what it is. It, it stopped right there? It just stopped right there. Will we get a part two? Basket Robin part two? 30 cent flavor get, part two? We get the Basket Robin part two. It's hard. It's hard, though. I can, I can imagine what that part two is sound like. We might get one, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said before the break, man, I wanted to ask you about your YouTube. I yeah. see you very active on your YouTube, taking your YouTube very serious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, very, yeah. look like you're very motivated. Oh, yeah, I see. Like, uh, I, say, like I said earlier, uh, I, I was inspired by people around me that was doing it. They showed me the, the paperwork and the normal, so, you know, I started doing it. So I'm going to keep going, just take it serious. That's what I've been doing. Right. So if you're advice around with it, you know what I'm saying, stay consistent. So what? So for why that YouTube, mm-hmm. that YouTube being what you see that as just a, another platform or a way out. Both. 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 Platform for the voice and and the way out for us like you know just it's legal. Yeah, it's legal. You know it's legal work. You know right. What I'm saying, and you know you can do different things on there. You can experience what I like. What I say to people, they tell you to grow up. You can be. Basketball player, that's just one talent. You be a baseball player, that's one talent. YouTube, you can be everything. You can be everything. You so- wanna cook, do that. You wanna be on there pranking folks, do that. You wanna experiment and and and, and do things with 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 with, and with uh, uh, or trying to demonstrate what's, what's good and bad with water type of food, you can do that. You want to have a debate with somebody or, you know, anything on YouTube, you got Facts. more than one talent. That's how I see it. Because you're supposed to be able to knock down everything. Don't just limit yourself in one, but, oh, I just do this. No, bro, do all of it. 
Ain't no, can't nobody tell you cannot do that. Yeah. There's not no such thing. You cannot, y'all. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You, you probably could be not from not. If you convict the felon, you know you can't be a cop. You know that. Come on now. Come on now. But you know, they can't tell you amongst other things you can do it. You know what I'm saying? If you put your mind to it, you can do it. No, in fact. That's all I do on that YouTube. I cook, talk to the people, play with music. You know what I'm saying? I show them what I'm cooking, how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Give them advice. You know what I'm saying? I don't tell nobody. You know, so you got to take my advice or try to follow what I'm doing, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Do you. Do what you got to do so you do what you want to do at the end of the day. You know so would you, yeah. would you see yourself becoming a YouTuber? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. N not necessarily a YouTuber, just a person going to take advantage of this YouTube thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I am finna, like I say, drop these videos, these singles. And, and I'm going to drop a movie, but I'm just trying to find a title, right, the right title to go with the movie to say that's, that's me. I might just have to go with Nard. I might have to go with Noah. Whatever you choose. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you that though. Uh, for a while, got your thing. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, for a while, just really just being motivated to do what you do every day, man. What, what, what motivate that? You know, I see you really energetic. You giving it for watch time, you know. Really, really like I said, what, watch what, hours. Well, but what motivate me is the people who I'm around. She and you. Yeah. She and you motivate me. Tell them, bro, just stay consistent. Bro, just, just, this all you got to do. Keep slapping them up. Don't be doing it. And, you know, and I seen, I, I mean, when I, when you see it, when niggas just ain't, no, nigga tell you something, don't put you on game, don't show you no, no paperwork. Yeah. You show me the paperwork, like, bro, did what you do. And I seen it. This girl kid did what you do to do, do, do and I seen it. The little paperwork. It's right. paper, it's little, but it paperwork. And all you gotta do is just see once once I seen that, oh that's all I gotta do then. They and I see the people messing with okay, go ahead, let go then. Full throttle. So do you think you need a record label these days? I need no record label. <clears throat> Can't offer me nothing. I mean if they could if the, the bad sound right, the movement sound right, but I don't know, man. I had really just go independent. I ain't really we think it's three sixty, right? 360, man, that's a, that's a hell of a deal, bro. We always think of 360, and we're against the 360 deal. I get that why we ain't signed now, but, uh... I want, I want, I want, I want, I want the deal like, like Young Dolph and them got Jim Jones. You know what I'm saying? Independent. Screaming. You think you could be out there with them guys? I could be out there with them guys. You think you can carry that weight? I can carry that out there. Not, not, not Sarah John, I ain't trying to be looking up, trying to be out there with them guys. Just, the nah, I'm just saying, Father Wyatt, just on that A-list. Oh, yeah, hey, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They gave me a chance to go over there on Empire, man, boy, woo! Man. What you think missing, bit, bro? For your, for your, your puzzle. Oh, I missed from my puzzle. To get you to an Empire. A QC. The, 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 the consistency of work, the consistency of, of, of working. Keep yeah. Working. That, that, that's, what, that's what's missing. That whole thing. I got to keep working. Yeah. I got to. Like every like every minute, like, because every minute somebody got something new to do. So, but I can't worry about what they, what they do. I just got to do me and be on my super page. And that's all it is, really, because everybody, it's a lot of people doing this and ain't known, but you can see it when you go on, on the website and they, long they consistent, man, you can see something off there. That's what it's about, though. You just being consistent though, bro. Whatever, whatever that you doing, mm -hmm. whatever that you doing, just being consistent. Don't stop, cause they they watching. Once they start yeah. watching, give them something to look at. Put it in their face. Yeah. Put it in their face. That's what I'm trying to do. Put it in their face for real though. All right, man. I got a couple more questions for you, Nard. The God. Man. man, what what? Who some of the um the biggest people you've been around? For the while, people don't made it in their game. Who you don't probably got some from. You know, a little game for what you mean, uh, what game? The industry. People uh -huh. follow wire, rappers, actors, who you so actually don't have around. time to bet around and, around, and, and uh, pay them attention and be like, okay, I see how he did that. Niggas, <clears throat> niggas, niggas like niggas like K Rap. Okay, and K Rap, I just had him in here. Niggas like K Rap. That's a good rapper. reference. He's a good dude. He's a good guy. With no, that's a great that. reference. That boy Slick. Slick Puller. Slick Puller. Donkey boy, you know. <clears throat> okay, and them guy, what who, you said who? Donkey boy, little co. What they do? Oh, they had the little hit single, uh, Body Rock. The Body Rock. The body Rock song, Body Rock. You know? Shout out to the Body Rock, Donkey boy, little co. Uh, yeah. Slim, 
Slim, mm -hmm. uh, Killer Mike got on the remix. Mm -hmm. I was in Chain Game, man, and that's um, one of my one of my go to. I was locked up in in, in, uh, in Rice Street doing my time, doing the uh, year and then when they were doing their thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. I missed it. Shout out to them guys. I had an opportunity to see what was going on and be a part of that little situation for a minute before I went to Chain Game. Right. We was around it though. We was around it. We was around the family. We was around the family. Um, no, I guess man, this, we to the end, man. They were great, man. I guess I let you tell the people where they can find you at and get at you and subscribe and hit that Instagram. And hey, man, y'all can find me at Nord the God. CBE on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to that Instagram. And follow me on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Content getting slapped up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna give y'all everything though. Can't give y'all everything. I let y'all gotta give y'all a little snippet here and up. Gotta keep you, keep you, I gotta keep you at the dinner plate, you know what I'm saying? How they can get that music, man? Oh, Spotify. 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 Okay. Stream, Spotify. Music getting put up. Mm-hmm. Got more music coming up. Gotta get some of these some things cleared or whatever. Cause you know I got some tracks with folks that's, you know. I'm on top of it. It's like, oh I need that track. But you know, I gotta get you know what I mean, gotta get that thing straightened out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But once that thing is clear, all these tracks finna go up. Yeah, these tracks finna go up though. Mm -hmm. Hey man. Big brother, you got anybody you want to shout out, man, uh, before we get out of here? Hey, man, I want to shout out to everybody who who been rocking with me, who been following with, who been following with me, who I done growed up with, who I done been around. I can't name everybody, so that's why I'm saying it like this. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in chain gang that I know. You know what I'm saying? If, I, if, if you see my face and you ain't seen me in a long time, yeah, I'm here, still here, still thugging, still active. You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just see what's going on. You know, follow this shit. From the chain gang to the rap gang. Chain gang to the rap gang. Swear, that's a blessing. You know I mean? That's actually a miracle. From to New York. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a miracle. For real though. Oh uh, man, I appreciate you, man, for stopping through, man, and uh, just doing what you always do. Stay consistent. Hey man, this is Atlanta Avenue Live. <clears throat> I'm your boy Drew's daughter, AK Man Man. You already know I'm rocking like two cut off stocking. I got the boy Tito, not Lito. I said Tito. We all got a story. Never mind his story. You gotta hear the story. That's the one before me. And the one's adored. This is my morning glory. This is my morning glory. This is my morning glory. We all got a story. Never mind his chorus. You gotta hear the story. That's the one before me. And the one's adored. This is my morning glory. This is my morning glory. This my morning glory. We all got a story. Never mind this chorus. You gotta hear the story. Thanks the one before me. And the one's adored. This is my morning glory. This is my morning glory. They don't know how it feels getting it out the mud. A thousand pounds on the floor. I had to cut the rug. My niggas shicey and they screaming, get it back in blood. And you know a nigga test for five for the door. Plenty raised in these streets, got me missing Tony. I turn the page on the beat and write a different story. And plenty crowds in the bucket, so I cut the bottom. I hit the hollow out the sound when I tap the bottom. If I give him what he want, he'll be back tomorrow. A real life true story, I'm a big stepper. A 10 piece all flat with the lemon pepper. And when they coming by the bell, it be plenty extra. Walk the beat, leave a trail when I paint the room. Run smoking what you smell when I'm in the room. And you know I keep it on me, so I keep my cool. How you feel you doing better when we all sin? It's a different type of feeling when we all win. Like a jaw flow sit like a call in. All caps, one number when you log in. CBE, this shit forever, I brought the mob in. This my morning glory, we all got a story. Never mind this chorus, you gotta hear the story. Thanks the one before me, and the ones adored. This my morning glory, this my morning glory. This my morning glory, we all got a story. Never mind this chorus, you gotta hear the story. Thanks the one before me, 
and the ones adored. Yes. This my morning glory. Yes. This my morning glory. Oh. This my morning glory, sir, with no pancakes. You know I got sauce. A1 like I'm on a steak. I ain't even real rice. Right. Right. I don't smoke wedding cake. I my little partner spent a hundred for his wedding day. I remember smoking roaches out the ashtray. Yeah. I'm a coke pumping gas on a school day. I'm on the one way. All I know is one way. Okay. Dog, I swear one day we gon' be okay. Free one I take. Long live JJ. Damn, I'm in pimp ray. I pray for another day. I bet me another way. I'm going the other way. I seen him the other day. I think it was Thursday. Then my morning glory. We all got a story. Never mind this chorus. You gotta hear the story. Thanks to one before me, and the ones adored me. This my morning glory. This my morning glory. This my morning glory. We all got a story. Never mind this chorus. You gotta hear the story. Thanks to one before me, and the ones.